There's a giant turkey vulture in a tree. And uh, the crows in my neighborhood right here are very territorial as is. Guys are all crows. So we got a part of the team over here. Taking, where is he right? Where is he right here? He's right there. I recognize this guy, he's got like a tattered up neck. I give him peanuts almost, uh, you know, a couple times a week. They love it. Makes me wonder, makes me wonder what this guy's doing here. Usually if you turkey vulture around, uh, around, uh, that implies something's dead nearby. He's looking at something. They'll often, you know, kind of, you know, hang around low in the air. You'll see the shadows on the ground. That's how you know, like, uh, maybe some roadkill or something. But here in my backyard, there's really nothing, you know. There's no real, uh, maybe a dead squirrel or something somewhere. Big ol' he had his wings out a second ago. Yeah, look badass. He's a big boy. Yeah, now they're not predators. They are scavengers, so you know, if you see these around, you know, they're they're harmless. They're actually doing you a favor, cleaning up the mess. I think that the crows probably recognize him as not a real threat. Because they always chase out the birds of prey out here. We got some really badass osprey. Oh, maybe not. They're not that pleased. Just the other day, I was in my backyard. Um, I had seen a baby. Uh, red shoulder hawk just post up on the fence. This tree's monstrous, by the way. So you get, you get an idea of how big this guy is. He probably stands around, I don't know, two feet tall. He's telling his buddies over there. Hard to get a good shot. Yeah, that's pretty good. He's definitely looking at something. Or he's taking a break, one of the two. I found one of those birds dead, actually, one time. And they are huge. Up in person, just a big old body. Giant, giant wingspan. Here he comes again. You'll see him in the mornings. They'll sit on like street lights, and they'll be sunbathing with their uh, wingspan completely opened. Get the blood flowing, I guess. I don't know. Soaking up the sun. It's pretty cool to see. They'll do it in fields too. Just kind of sit there, sneezing. Doesn't seem to mind me. An apartment I lived in one time, there was a uh, young man who had taken his life in his, his apartment with pills or something. And, uh, you know, no one really knew what was going on because it just smelled terrible. No disrespect, you know. But he was in there for like, I think 10 days or two weeks or something crazy. And these guys would come up to the balcony and kind of knew at that point. That was a, that was a rough one. He's here for something.
There's the crow. Doing a security check. I see the bottom though. There we go. This is what I was trying to show. So he's right here. Chilling. And then just to the right are two crows. They're just uh making sure things are okay. Like, they're not so much worried about them. It's crazy how they know. They don't really care, they just both took off. Yeah, all these big trees are a pretty good uh, resource for entertainment, backyard bird life. The crows have been completely taken off. They had just bailed. I figured he's not a threat at all. Well, those guys with a red head, I think he's uh, he's fine. What do they call him? Uh, Tucky vultures. Let's get out of here, Sam. <laughs> 